The best evidence for migration in prehistory comes at the time after the Stone Age, at the end of the Neolithic, and the beginning of the Bronze Age, a time when uh, we have a new type of pottery called beakers. Now, let me show you a beaker. I'm just going to show you the webcam here. This is a beaker excavated from Mia down in the southwest of Wiltshire. And these are the objects that were buried with this, this person. Now, the way beaker burials work is that generally it's a single person, almost always a man, uh, buried in a crouched position, perhaps as if asleep. Now, the idea I like much better is uh, ready for, he's like a baby, ready to be reborn into a new life. And he has a pottery, this pottery beaker at his feet, and he's buried also with a dagger. Now, if you go back and look at the objects, this um, this beaker is really impressive um, and very finely decorated. And one, we find ones like this all the way across Europe. Now, the people that they were buried with, we can analyse their, their remains and particularly we can look at their DNA. That's like the recipe for life. Everyone, everything that lives has DNA in it. And that recipe is slightly different between different groups of people. And the DNA of these people who came from, um, who were buried with beakers, like this chap here, that DNA um, is very similar to the DNA of people who were in the very south or east corner of Europe. And they seem to have moved right the way across Europe over a period of something like 500 years, bringing this distinctive type of pottery with them. This chap from Mir is also buried with dagger. This is made of bronze. It's one of the earliest in Britain. And then also he has this amazing gold disc. Uh, we call it a sun disc. Perhaps it did represent the sun. There's two little holes in it uh, in the centre. And it may have been sewn to something, perhaps to a headdress. So the headdress may have had things like feathers and fur on it as well. So it would have been really impressive and the gold were glinted in the sunlight. And so what we know is that these people, their ancestry is from across the other side of Europe. Um, but some of them grew up in Britain. We can tell that from analysis of the minerals in their teeth. Others did actually come all the way from across Europe. 